Hello there, and welcome to the No Flyer series. This is a series uh, that will be going on for quite some time. It'll be the first one I'll probably actually finish. Uh, the challenge is to basically play through the entire game without using any flyers whatsoever. Like, it's going to completely change the game. Um, flyers kind of take out a lot of the content in the game because you're just flying around. There's really no, there's no real challenge. Why am I getting so much stone? Um, but yeah, this completely changed up the game a bit. There's flyers are untamable, so it's it's going to change a lot. Um, it's kind of it's going to be kind of fun, like exciting. And don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I do know I already have a plan for like uh, farming. I'll have to go over to Ab and get a Carquinos. But I've of course not thought everything through, so let's figure this out. Um, the harvest rates are. Uh, two times, same as XP, everything is 2x, but I've uh, increased the harvesting damage, so you one-tap um, most things, like bushes, it just takes one pick. Let's see how uh, these work. It's not like one punch to break trees or anything like that. That would be a bit ridiculous. The only stab boosted is uh, weight, goes up by 25, I believe, yeah. And of course, uh, engrams auto-unlock besides tech. See how it is for the tool. All right, so once two hits, it looks like for trees. A few for rocks, of course. But yeah, I've just made some cool little changes like that, just to speed up things. The rates aren't ridiculously boosted, of course, but you can uh, harvest things faster. Just little quality of life things. feels weird, like I don't have a plan. I don't just go to a PT, go get the notes, and then go from there, get an RG. No, it's completely different. Especially starting out, it's going to be much harder. Some levels in the move speed. There's a note up here, and a few near here in the lake. I'm going to go get those. First note. Oh, I didn't show it. Seven levels, not bad. But yeah, I didn't boost the uh, XP much at all. It's two times, like I said, just so you feel progression. You have to actually play through the tiers, not just instantly level 80 and getting 100 really quickly. But uh, this is PVE. Back to PVE because PVP is just I just don't enjoy it anymore. Especially where I'm starting a new job, I will not have nearly as much free time. So, PvE is the way to go. Alright, now we're level 53. Um, I think I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to do a ton of note runs because I don't want to keep doing them because it, oh, I didn't even know they were there. Please don't aggro. Okay, I don't know how they didn't aggro there, but okay. Um, circle. Let's see. Um, this is either going to go really well or really, really wrong. Oh, it's working. Alright, so if you're falling, uh, it doesn't always work. Um, if you're falling and you spam circle on PlayStation or uh, whatever it is to open your inventory on any other platform, uh, sometimes it will like propel you further in the air and also uh, negates fall damage. Is that a tech rex? Right. I bet you guys cannot see it all. Um, this is the first arc I've played in a while where uh, I actually have the day and night cycle default like it is on an official. Let's uh, gamma up here. Melt my eyes out, but at least you guys can see. Freezing to death here. Um, let's talk about the modifications of the server I've done so far. Um, I'm trying to keep it as close to original arc as possible. I don't want like kibble and drops, all that. No, I want to uh, have to build farms for everything, which is going to be fun. Uh, have that all automated in a way that any player can do it. Um, besides, well, I guess they'd have to have no clip because I'm using that. I haven't modified any crafting costs besides polymer, which I'll show you now. 
Uh, this is the only thing I've uh, changed the cost of, is organic. It costs organic, just so I can make it permanent, which isn't like a crazy game changer, it's just a quality of life thing. And uh, taming is only ten, two times, which you're probably thinking that's quite low, you have to wait a while, but it's actually insanely fast with what I've done with it. Whatever, how much food you need on two times is how much it will take, but it will be insanely fast because Wild Dino's food drain is turned up uh, really high. I think it's on like 60, I believe. So as soon as you knock them out, their food's all the way down. You just have to have enough food to tame them. I think that's uh, pretty cool, just so you're not staring at an unconscious dino for like 40 minutes. No one likes doing that. And uh, taming... I mean, not taming, uh, breeding is boosted quite highly because I, I love breeding dinos. It's really fun. Going for mutations and stuff. Uh, I'm about to get... yep. First death. <laughs> Raptor, of course. Alright, we're pretty close to where we need to be. There's a ton of dodos here. I need their hide. I went ahead and crafted up most of the stuff I already had on my body, so I don't need to go back for that. Go away, compies. Oh wow, there's so many. Oh wow, I also increased the dino count by 60%. So there's a bit more dinos on the map than normal. Just to make it that much harder and easier, in a way. Like, it'd be a little easier to find high levels, but also harder because caves want to have a lot more enemies in them and everything like that. Alright, honestly. Can you please die? <laughs> okay. We just need, what, 40 hide for a... Ooh, that carnal's too close. Where's the other compy? Oh, alright, I'm out. We need to just make a bow. Ooh, hello. Sorry. A little dodo, but we just need to hide. Alright, this should be enough for a bed. Let's see. Ah, it's rough. Base location is right over there. Of course, there's a raptor. Uh. And there's a theory. <laughs> Watch there just be a whole pack of raptors right on the tip. So that's where I'm going to put the bed. Don't aggro. It aggroed. And there's a raptor. Aw, oh, jeez. Maybe, maybe they lost aggro. Nope. That's why I have stimberries, because you can, oh, uh, you can eat the stimberries to give yourself some stamina. Yeah, the theory's going to mess me up. Uh, maybe to fight the stego. Actually, this kind of works, because if I can run up here, and go around the corner, it the AI should be so dumb that it can't get up here. As long as that Carno didn't chase me. I'm going to have to get a perimeter up very quickly here. I'm not insanely close to resources, but uh, just for starting out, I can just put a temp base here, because this isn't permanent. Unless it changed my mind, but I doubt it. Let's go ahead and throw a level into... Probably just more weight. Alright, so we need to make a bow. I think we just need uh, some more st stone. <laughs> more wood for that. Yeah, there we go. Make some of those, make some bolas. And I made it so uh, engrams unlock every level besides the tech, of course, because I don't like tech instantly unlocking. Kind of ruins the progression of the game. So let's go ahead and put a bow down here. Finally make that bed. Um, let's 
see. I need to make like a little wooden base so it doesn't get destroyed. I'm not going to go anywhere to have that bed place though. Do we have enough for a mortar and pestle? Come on, we're gonna have. Ah, we don't. Right, let's just drop these berries. And base location saved. Already feel much better with that down. Just need to uh, start placing some foundations. Then kill some more dinos, get that mortar and pestle up, and should be semi pretty soon. Probably go for a trike first. Because they're actually really good early game teams. Let's see. I like to have my bullets in my zero slot, or circle, whatever you want to call it. Definitely circle. Alright, let's. Go ahead and make one more foundation. Ooh, we can do stone. Nah, let's just stick to wood. Looks better. Alright, I'm gonna farm up a, like a little tiny base and then we'll be back. Pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me slap trees for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, we've got us a nice little wooden hut built now, so we are safe. Um, we just need to get some hide so we can make a mortar and pestle. Uh, what level is that track that's wandering around here? There it is. Actually, that's, that would not be a bad first time. It's not the greatest level, but that uh, would not be bad at all. Alright, we just need to get some hide. Could kill that Diplo since they can't hurt me, but that'd take too long. Ooh! Wait, you don't give hide. What level are you, though? Eh. I don't want that stupid Diplo to aggro me. They're so annoying. Ooh. Speaking of annoying. Jeez. What level is this Di Dilo? Oh, wow. 100. Mm, no. Go away, Trudon. I hate those things. Uh. <laughs> Fire ants. <laughs> Level 60. Probably get to 500 weight, and then I'll start leveling health some more. Oh wow, it's such a little amount of hide. I think that's enough though to go ahead and make the mortar and pestle. Get some uh, narcotics going. Speaking of, we need to start splitting our meat. You want to do that just so it all spoils the same time. Alright. Meat spoiled. And drugs. 44. Alright, I got another bow made up with the trank arrows in it, and then uh, other bow with normal arrows for when we need to use that. And uh, we're going to kill this poor little defenseless pig now for easy hide. I'm sorry, bacon. Why are they not showing blood? It's weird. Maybe I accidentally turned off like blood overlays or something. 158 hide. No, uh, I'm just gonna go around that. I know there's some trudons nearby. We're gonna avoid those. It's nice having the day cycle uh, normal again, so you kind of forget like how much 
it actually has an impact on the game. Like, it's already day three. It's crazy. Uh, where'd that shrike go? Oh, I hope it didn't fall. If it fell in the swamp, it's gone. Guarantee it fell in the swamp. There's no way I'm going down there. Baryonyx. It's bullet and civil level it is. Come on. Come on. Aggro me. Rawr. 15. Trash. I'll just kill it. Uh, it's really hard to judge with this no bleeding effect. I don't know what's going on. I've got to fix that. 61. We have a snow owl saddle. I'll never be able to use that. I disabled uh, most of the flyer saddles. I forgot to disable that one. Uh, there's an alpha raptor over there. There's a normal one. Let's check it out. See what level it is. Hello. Twenty. No. Let's get pretty far away from. Oh, there's another one. Ninety-five. All right. I'll knock that one out. Fifteen. It's not the best level, but that will be a good starter team. Let's go ahead and knock this one out, so we don't have to worry about it. Please go to sleep. Alright. I know, wasting trinks, but don't have any normal arrows. It's the best thing I can think of. Hello, Beasel Bufo. Just wanna watch. Sick frog you. Uh oh come on. This might have not been the best place to set up, honestly. Alright, can you can you die? Please. Finally. Alright, since we don't have any prime, and I mean, it's not the best level anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and feed it raw meat. You see there, the food's all the way down. It's gonna lose a lot of levels. From the raw meat, not the food chain. I think this way actually makes more sense because you just you have to have all the food and you still have to protect it it's not like it's instant but it's quite quick all right see what we need for a saddle we can go ahead and make one even though it's not gonna be good let's check the stats uh, oh yeah, uh, also boosted weight on wild dinos, um, so that when you tame them, they'll have a higher weight, and their weight goes up by 10, I believe. Is it 10? Or is it, I think I boosted it two times, actually, like I did the player 2.5. Alright, let's throw that in there. Oh no, 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 no. Do not like Trudons. Go ahead and drop these. Now with this, we should be able to easily run around the trike and knock it out. What level is the stego? <laughs> I'm so used to having the spyglass get pressed up. Let's see, five easy. Give me some hide.
It's so weird not having the blood. I don't... I don't know if it's weak or not. It's so weird. As soon as I kill this thing, we've got to fix that. I guarantee I turned off some kind of setting. So that is... I just don't like that. Go away, compies. Is that 150? I've seen a 120. No, I was just seeing things. Alright, we're just gonna level a decent amount of weight on this thing. Use it as like a carrying mount for now. And let's knock out this trike. Actually, I'm gonna fix that uh, blood overlay thing really quick. Yeah, what happened is I accidentally turned off blood damage overlay. Alright, now with the raptor tamed, uh, we're not going to mess with taming that trike, actually. What we're going to do is pick up base. And we're going to go throw down a base on top of one of these mountains. And probably tame an Anki. Because we're not going to get anywhere being down here. It just, with no fire, you need to be really close to the resources. I thought this would be close enough, but nah. I don't feel like running a marathon to go get everything. Oh, please, no, please don't be a high level. I can't get away right now. This thing's gonna mess me up. Because it's got that bleed. No, no. Wait, no, we got this, we got this. I think, maybe, possibly. Oh, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna go well. It's not going well. No. If we do kill it, the bleed's gonna finish us off. Come on, Raptor. Old no name. You got this. Oh. No! <sighs> Rest in peace. <laughs> kinda looks like it's biting its tail. This is gonna be the thumbnail. 100%. Well, poor little no-name. Though I didn't know you for more than like five minutes. I cherished her bond. Alright, now with her only tame dead, I uploaded my character at Green Ob, And uh, I'm downloading it kind of further away. Because we're going to make a rush for that mountain with um, all that metal on it. Near Volcano. Not Volcano, but the one beside it. Uh, this is not where I was wanting to spawn. Alright, I found a level 100 Parasaur. I'm just going to tame it. Just so we have a mount. It will probably not survive the adventure, but... It will at least help us along for a little bit. Not trying to hit that trike. Trike, you're just asking to get hit. Alright, it's asleep. Do we have any mayos? I think we do. Yeah. Alright. 2% per. Ooh, moss chops. What do you need? Rare mushroom. <laughs> Level 5. Give me those back. I was going to cut, but you know, I'm just going to show how this uh, food drain thing works. I think it's pretty cool. I feel like ARC should actually be this way, so... There, there, it's just, there's just so many things in ARC that could be changed to where it's not such a time waster. But there's so many little things that are unnecessary. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's go ahead and make the saddle. Actually, I don't even need to search it. It's right there. Just need some wood. Eighty-two. I'm 
so excited for the next set of TLCs. I don't know if you guys know about it or not, but the Mammoth Skinning one. And I'm really hoping the second one, I don't think it's been revealed yet, but I hope it's a Bronto. That'd be amazing. Alright, see what we get. Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent weight. Alright, okay, we're not any faster. <laughs> but we can at least get berries, so that's something. Nah. I'm Oh, actually, I think I get more with my character. <laughs> but this thing will have a lot of weight once we've leveled it. We can scan for enemies. There's that scorpion over there. We could actually build it at this mountain instead. I, I wanted to build it on the side of one, and then I realized Giga spawned there. And one day we could just uh, log on, and there's a Giga inside our base, and back to day one. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to actually try to traverse up this mountain. I just have a very bad feeling about this, like I feel we're going to get jumped by some aloes or carno, something we can't scare off with the parasaur, and then it's over. If anything, we can do a last effort ditch, just jump off the para and run. I think I want to name it Perry. Some metal here. Hmm. Actually, a decent amount. It's so, like, slanted here, though. It'd be a pain to build. But yeah, there's a ton of metal. Once we go, uh, once we get pretty well set up, and a few episodes deep, we'll go over to Aberration, the Catapult, Team of Carquinos, and that will be how we metal farm. Until we get like a uh, magma sore, and then we'll just ride that around, and harvest. Oh, come on. There we go. I wish these things could jump. Alright, we're almost to the top. Just gotta kill these scorpions. Doesn't look like there's anything too dangerous, luckily. So we'll go ahead and throw down our little wooden base. It's gonna be quite difficult getting resources from below up here, but we'll have plenty of the good resources like metal and crystal right in our front door. I keep wanting to use my spyglass that I don't have. <laughs> can I scare this thing off? I can! Oh, there's a kitty. There's a kitty. I'm a bullet. Hello, kitty. Oh, that's me boosted. That's not good. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Can I knock it back? Oh, this is really bad. Neutral. Neutral. Um, can I stop flying? Hello. Level 10 trash. Alright. Gotta help out Perry. There we go. Wanted him to get the last hit. Or her. What is it? It's her. Okay. Back up, back up. 20 trash. Alright, we have the mountain. Looks like we're about to die though. Uh, I've gone ahead and placed the sleeping bag. We should be able to put a bed down now though. Alright, we're just gonna throw it down here for now. Got a lot of really good resources here. This isn't the permanent spot anyway, we're just throwing this down. Just to have a little something something.
the permanent uh, permanent spot for this building anyway. We probably w <laughs> we probably will be living here for the island anyway. Let's just use the sleeping bag. Go ahead and get these doors up. I hate the menu transitions. And then I see like uh, PC players, because I watch quite a few art YouTubers. And uh, it's just so fluent, it looks amazing. Can't wait to have a PC. It's gonna be a while though. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. Go ahead and get the sides up. We need to make us a little uh, campfire. Well, not a campfire, a uh, fireplace. So we're not freezing as bad. Alright, yeah, we have got to center that bed. It just does not look right. It's not centered, but good enough for now. Throw down our little map so we know where we're at. <laughs> okay, can we make full hide? Yes, we can. Alright, let's get some parachutes because that's going to be a really good way to get down from base. Ooh, a terror bird would be an amazing team. Oh, I really would. Like, we could tame those and then we'd jump off the side of base and just flap your little wings. Because it's not really a flyer, it's just a... I don't know what you call that, like a glider, maybe? Speaking of gliders, eventually we'll get rock drakes, and uh... That'd be a nice way to move around. Bloodstalkers. Don't really care much for manas since the nerf. Nerfs. Mini nerfs. Alright, we used some of the wood out of here to make a spyglass, because I hit a few of these. Turns out you can actually get crystal from these with a stone hatchet, This is very rare. I broke like six of these. I uh, got two crystal. <laughs> so, I uh, just need, what is it, 50 wood and some more stone. No, I have the stone to make a smithy, so we're going to go do that. Level 10. Definitely not going to tame that. Alright, yeah, we can get up here. Sweet. Let's go get this smithy placed, make up some metal tools, and uh, we'll probably go tame a terror bird, and then we'll call it after that. Don't want the first episode being too long. Uh, I need some wooden ladders to make sure this is all lined up. Yeah, that's too far out. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in there. Oh, there's nowhere to get water up here unless it rains, is there? I'm definitely not gonna run pipes all the way up. I'm not gonna be here long enough for that. Uh, that should be enough. I think it's like... I know it's 10 for the crossbow. Let's go ahead and make that. Hatchet. I have to make a trip to Ab soon. Probably get that once we get the Carcanos. So probably like episode 5 or 6. Something like that. Maybe sooner. Alright, now that we have everything we need, we're going to go over to the Redwoods and tame them. Uh, I've gone ahead and made two saddles. And we have 22 Trank Arrows, and they take headshot damage, and for a 150 it would only take 7, so we have plenty. Um, we need CP to make a water jar, so we can't make that right now. But uh, let's go ahead and make it to the Redwoods. <laughs> Might take a while, but I'm pretty sure I can make it with this. Yeah, this actually really makes the game more fun. 
not having flyers. Was it one of the devs or someone said that like flyers take 80% of the content out of the game because you don't, well not out, but you ignore 80% because you're not on the ground, you're just flying over it all and just get into whatever you're doing. Kind of really takes away from the game. Because I wouldn't be doing this if I had a PT. Looks like we're going to overshot it. Is it foggy? Disabled fog. Ooh, we can land on top of this uh this rock here. There's a note up there. We need to get Alright, you can see it right there. Little explorer note. We're almost over it. Then we're just gonna cut the parachute and then use another one so we don't die. Ooh, look at all that metal. Oh jeez. Of course there's compies up here. How did they even get up here? Alright. Was it 64? Hmm. Just jump into the water. Actually we'll parachute so we go a bit further. Do not want those Carnos and Raptors coming at me. Alright. Hopefully we can find a high level one. I don't want to go too deep into the forest. Finally some terror birds. I've never struggled to find terror birds in my life before. Level 20, definitely not taming that. Just gonna bullet and kill it. Yo, what was that? Uh, we'll just bullet them actually. Leave them. I don't think they're either one. Ah, uh, there's another one. Fifteen. Yikes. I found it, and of course they just hit the penosaurus. Alright, I'm gonna have to help them out here. Or they will die. Do I hear a raptor underneath me? Oh my. Can I catch a break? Jeez. And if you hear that scratching, it's my cat at the door. Just... Was that really worth it? Like, did you have to. Oh my, oh, I hate the Redwoods. Beautiful area, but the most annoying, but oh my god. Go away. No, there's a Carno there. And the Terror Bird's gonna die, hopefully. Here, fight these. Please don't hit me. If I get that bleed effect, I'm done. Alright, hit this thing. There we go. Terror birds are dead. <sighs> How low were they? 10, 20, 90. And a raptor. bed. Finally. Finally. There's a 125. That, uh, I think it's the black one. Yeah. 125. Honest running away by itself. That's amazing. Alright. Let's try not lose it, but also try to lose the other ones. I'm gonna lose it, because that's just how things work. I honestly believe the game's working against me at this point. Oh! Ah, it's here! Alright. We're gonna lead this thing really far away. 
from its friends. Like, this is perfect. Yes. Oh, yes. Alright. Right here. Alright, you're, you're bolded. No, look at this. Look at this. Like, oh my god. Every time I do anything... I swear when I increase the overall dino count of the circle... Wait, what? Was it only doing 35? Hello? Oh, I'm stupid. It's because it's Tranks. I was used to doing 95. I couldn't kill so many. Alright. Please don't run into something stupid. Move! Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my... Why is there so many bugs? That's the only thing that increased when I increased the dino count. Like, like it's what it feels like. The amount of compies and just little annoying creatures is just ridiculous. Go away! Go away! Not you, Rowena. <laughs> One twenty-five. How many arrows do I gotta put in it? Oh, finally. Okay. We don't have prime, but that's okay. I just need. I just need something to run around on. All right. Um, it should instant tame up. So let's go ahead and just throw the meat in there. Three! Three percent! <laughs> oh, it's so... that's so bad. Can't really get Prime unless we kill a Diplo. Plus it's only 125 anyway. That's lower than I normally would tame. I'll just tame this one to run around on, and we'll tame breeders later on. <gasps> this is amazing. Yeah, you just know we're gonna have a crazy mutated line of these. <laughs> uh oh. Perry detected an enemy. We're we'll a little bit of uh, let's give away, but we need to level some stam. Right, there's some kitties there. I'm not too worried about. Just get past those. Terrified of just finding a Giga spawning up here. Oh, it's just that. Okay. Definitely not the strongest team. What else is there? Oh. It's a bit of a bit of a range there. I'm gonna turn it off, uh... Uh, players only. <laughs> so there's no other players. Alright, well, um, I guess that's all we're gonna do today. Let's see, we tamed a raptor, then it died. Um, so a carno, but they killed each other at the same time. Then we tamed a para, it's right there. Then we tamed a terror bird, which was very, uh, a lot, a lot more difficult than I expected. It just took a while to find it. Really wish we got that 145, but it is what it is. And we got a, uh, I guess a glider you'd call this. Since there's no flyers, this would be the way to get around. And so we get like a Bloodstalker or a Rock Drake or something cool like that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one.